Welcome everybody. Uh, we just uh, got late in setting up the hedge cam for the Foxboro meet with Hopkinton. We do apologize for uh, the inconvenience. So Maddie Stoss up on the board. Just finished her second or third dive. We apologize again for the late start. Hopkinton swimming against Foxborough tonight. It's the last meet of the season, senior night for the Feathers. Addy stops on the board. On her final dive of what is her final meet, her Hopkinton career.
we will take a quick break and regather ourselves here at Hopkinton and be back in a moment. So, Denise, you are running the marathon. I am. You are? Uh, we'll Why? try to run the marathon. Right, you're going to try to run the marathon. Why are you running the marathon? Um, to raise monies for the class of 2018, the graduating 2018, class. 2018, this, this, this class. This graduating class. Okay. And so how do you, how do you go about doing this? What, what do you do? Um, I'm training. Um, yep. I put out a bid for the... Uh, for the uh, bib so, that they so the get class, from the So the class got a bib from the Board of Select bid because yeah. they give the, the BA gives the town like 50 bibs yeah. and they go out to the charitable and they go to all the charities. So one of the charities is the 2018 and you put in a bid for it. How much money are you going to raise? Uh, I'm going to try to raise 5500 5500 How can people help you raise this money? Um, going to GoFundMe yep. Hillers uh, dash class of 2018. All right, so GoFundMe page, type in Hiller's class of 2018, yep. and sponsor. Give Denise some money. She's going to run 26.2. <laughs> and uh, you're out there training today, right? I was out there today before the rain came. So. Before the rain came. I heard you had to do some laps around the flagpole, too. For the I, I did. What was up with that? <laughs> with my shirt on. With your shirt on, yeah. I'll show you on, my yeah. shirt. Well, we so if you see me ready. running in orange, that's me. That's her. I don't so, want to get hit. <laughs> yeah, do not run. Do, don't, do not run to these over. She has to be ready in April, okay? Right. <laughs> so Try to get to April. Well, listen, that's I wish you, wish you the best of luck. Thank I you. I think you're going to do fine, and I hope you l raise... Exceed your goal. Oh, good. Thank you. Right. So that's the GoFundMe Hiller's, Hiller's Class of 2018. Yes. Okay? Thank, thank you. you. Yep, thank you. So apologies for a late start this evening, some technical difficulties as we're finally Give up on HCAM. Video. As we're finally up on HCAM. Yeah. And uh, it is senior night. This is Hopkinton versus Foxborough. It is a meet that has no implications for Hopkinton season. Uh, a win is a win, a loss is a loss. It makes no difference at this point. Uh, the TVL has Hopkinton uh, as a five and one in the TVL uh, with a tough loss to Ashland. But the season's been a lot more, a lot more than just wins and losses and fast times. This season's been about teamwork. It's been about hard work. It's been about camaraderie. There's been a lot of emotion as this team has shown an incredible amount of heart and discipline. I've been sending kids through the program. This is the fifth or sixth year of watching kids swim. Having sent a few through already, I've never seen a team that is as tight and bonded as this team has been. And tonight, they're demonstrating that. They're gonna have some fun. They're gonna say goodbye to their seniors as Hopkinton graduates a host of seniors on the men's side, Ian Holmes, Captain Ben Peschen, and Sam Richardson. On the women's side, Captain Bridget Belger, Brooke Reiner, Kelly Burke, Maggie Miller, Captain Caitlin O'Connor, Captain Mallory Peishoff, Julia Pillarello, Harley Richardson, Maddie Stas, Captain Andrea Way, and Rachel Zale, Captain. There are a lot of big shoes to fill. There are a lot of good swimmers that are moving on. There are a lot of good swimmers that are moving up. It is exciting. First year head coach Jeff Libby, a phenomenal effort this year. Five and one, second place in the TVL. There is still the TVL meet coming up. Uh, that is as much for bragging rights as anything else. The, the league has been decided. Jeff had a phenomenal showing this year, demonstrating his ability as a head coach. Right next to him, longtime assistant coach, Karen Terry. I don't know if you can see Karen wheeling around there. Karen's got a bad wheel. She is on the deck with her scooter. And if you can catch Jim Brainerd over by the diving board, Jim Brainerd, longtime diving coach, decked out in his colors. He's got his green shorts. He's got his orange sneakers, I think, and some nice socks. Character he is. But it's about the kids, it's about the swimmers. We're going to start with um, the 200 medley relay as the, the warm-up in between the diving has ended. This is a boy and girl meet, so we've got women swimming against women and men swimming against men. This is not a league meet. This is not a co-ed meet. It will take a little bit longer because we'll be running heats for both men and women. And we are soon to start. 
I've got Raj on the camera and also with a headphone on. He's running double duty. Say hello, Raj. Hello, everybody. There he is. Raj is new to the booth this year. He's been helping out quite a bit. We've had a lot of fun. And as I said, this year has been about team. It's been about friendship. It's been about camaraderie. There's Coach Brainerd. And I think this team has been one of the, the team that I've seen with probably the most part of any of the teams that I've seen around. Certainly a dedicated group, a hard swimming group. And we are going to line up. I'll go through the lineups here for the women. In lane one, we're going to have Julia Pillarella, Brooklyn Briner, Kelly Burke, Kayla McCann. We're going to have Mary, Lynn, Mary Lauren Burke, Allison Fu, Caitlin O'Connor, Rachel Zale in the middle of the pool. Then Stephanie Capolis, we've got Maggie Miller, Harley Richardson, and Mia Carboni. This is the four by. This is the medley relay. Each swimmer swimming 50 yards of backstroke. Breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. Out in the middle of the pool, we've got Mary Lauren Burke taking an early lead. Closest to us, we've got Julia Colorado. Up top, we've got Stephanie Capolis. That is Marilyn Burke, ML Burke, as I refer to her. Closest to us, she's in the center of the pool. Closest to us, Julia Pillarello. She's going to hand it off to Allison Fu, the Fu fighter. Going in on the breaststroke. A good showing the other night in Ashland. She gets a phenomenal start. Opens up the lead in the middle of the pool. We've got Allison Fu in the middle of the pool. Brooke Reiner closest to us. And Maggie Miller up top in lane six. And that is Allison Fu. Holding on to a half a body length lead. Closest to us, that is Brooke Reiner. As they take the turn and head back, they will hand off to the next leg, which is the 50 fly. Allison Fu opening up. She's got about a body length, two body length lead. Up top in lane six, battling and holding in third. That is Maggie Miller. In the water now in the middle of the pool, that is Caitlin O'Connor, senior, senior captain. She graduates this year. We've got Harley Richardson up top in lane six going in the water. And closest to us is Kelly Burke. 50 fly. Hopkinton maintains a lead, followed by about two body lengths for Foxborough. And then holding on to third and fourth, that is Caitlin O'Connor coming in on a great leg for the fly. She's going to hand off to Rachel Zale. Rachel Zale bringing up the, the anchor leg here, 53. Closest to us finishing up, we've got Kelly Burke, and up top we've got Harley Richardson. Caitlin, uh, Rachel Zale is going to hold on in the center of the pool. She takes a turn, coming in for the final lap, going in the water in lane one. That is Kayla McCann, and up top that is Mia Carboni. Coming in now, Rachel Zale. Hopkinton will win going away. That's a nice swim by Rachel Zale. Closest to us, we have Kayla McCann holding on to third and battling up there for fifth position. Uh, fourth position, rather, is, Harley, uh, is Mia Carboni. Coming in close as us, Kayla McCann. That's Mia Carboni giving it a run. Mia Carboni just going to be touched out by half a body length for fifth spot. And Foxborough finishing it up. Great swims by the girls. Let me see if we have a heat two. I don't know that we do. We are going to have a women's heat swimming in the men's. On the men's side, we are going to have Blake Briner, Sam Cody, and Alex Mastukas, and Ian Holmes. In, the, uh, in lane one swing unofficially, we've got Kate Legassi, Holly Burns, JB, it's not Maddie Stiles. I don't know who JB is. I'm going to have to look that one up. And Sophie Cohen, let's see who JB is. Oh, JB is Jack Brennan. Awesome. This is a fun meet tonight. It's the last meet. It has no bearing on the Hiller season. This is a fun meet. Yes, it's a win or a loss. That doesn't really make any difference. So we've got divers. Swimming, we've got not many swimmers diving. I don't usually cross over. So once again, we've got Blake Briner, Sam Cody, Alex Mastukas, and we've got uh, uh, Matsukas and uh, Ian Holmes in the center of the pool. Kate Legassi, Holly Burns, Jack Brennan, and Sophie Cowan. Looked like Maddie's spouse was going to swim in that first relay, but she is a late scratch.
A lot of uh, a lot of graduating seniors, as we said, we've got three on the men's side and eleven on the women's side. A lot of posters up there. I don't know, Raj, if you can sort of scan on the other side. Pillars 2018 team, all the posters, all the camaraderie. At the end of the pool, all the kids cheering on the other, the ones that are getting ready to swim. This again will be the 200 meter relay, just like we watched the women. 50 yards each of backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. A little bit of downtime while they do some housekeeping as far as the officials are concerned. Packed house here tonight for the Hillers. We have a capacity crowd. You know, it doesn't seem that long ago, 10 weeks ago, we started this season here at Keith Tech. It moves pretty quickly. It's hard to believe that this is the final, the final regular season meet. Some kids will move on. We've got the TVL championship next Sunday. And then after that, we go into sectionals and states as we line ourselves up for the men's two, two medley relay. Center of the pool, that's Blake Biner. Closest to us, that's Kate Legassi. That is lane one swing unofficially. Blake Biner battling it out with Foxborough on the first leg of the 200 meter relay. Kate Legassi in lane one, closest to us, goes in, takes her turn, coming back for the last 50. That is Blake Biner up top, down by just about a body length. He's going to hand it over to Sam Cody on the breaststroke. Kate Legassi closest to us, going to hand it over to Holly Burns as they come in. Foxborough with about a two body length lead. And that is Sam Cody going into the water and closest to us, that's Holly Burns. Sam Cody off to a good start, gets a great jump. He has already closed the gap. At the turn, they are going to come in. They are together and that is closest to us in Holly Burns swimming unofficially. Sam Cody has caught up. He's closed the gap and now is starting to open up a lead for Hopkinton. Hopkinton now taking over over Foxborough. He's got a body length and he is opening it up. He is going to hand it off to Alex Matsukas for the, for the fly leg. Alex Matsukas in the water. Great start for Alex. He is now flying and opening it up. No pun intended. Takes his first turn. Closest to us, that is going to be Jack Brennan going in for the fly. Jack's a diver, also swims. Senior junior captain, he will be back next year. Great leg by Alex Matsukas in the middle of the pool. He's handing it off to Ian Holmes. Ian Holmes, senior captain, is going to anchor this. 50 freestyle. They've got a half, about a four body length lead. Half a lap. He's going to be challenged a little bit as Foxborough's pressing. I don't think Ian's going to be caught, though. A great looking swim by Ian Holmes. A lot of credit to Sam Cody, a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, phenomenal leg on the 50 breaststroke. That's Ian Holmes coming in first as Hopkinton wins. Foxborough second. And in the pool closest to us, my apologies, that's Sophie Cowan anchoring the women's relay, actually the co ed relay. And Sophie Cowan coming in there, swimming unofficially. Great swims by the Hopkinton team. Up top, that is Foxborough coming in second. Or coming in third, rather. Hop Hopkinton goes first. Foxborough takes two and three on the men's side. In the pool for Foxborough, the final swimmer, finishing up her 25. A lot of cheers, a lot of teamwork, a lot of camaraderie on this Hopkinton team this year as the final swimmer comes in for Foxborough. They are a team that has unlimited and endless spirit, something like I have never seen before. A phenomenal group of kids. Led by their senior captains on the men's side, Ian Holmes, who is graduating and then junior captains Jack Brennan and Zach Holbrow. On the women's side, captains Rachel Zale, Maddie Staus, Caitlin O'Connor, Maggie Miller, and Bridget Belger. All big shoes to be filled with these graduating seniors. We are going to ready ourselves for the 200 freestyle. Eight laps of the pool, a grueling little race. 
half sprint, half distance. For the ladies, we have in lane one, Bridget Belger, lane two, or lane three, Grace Cavanaugh, and up top in lane five, that will be Ansley Worrell. Grace Cavanaugh having a good season this year, as is Bridget Belger, senior captain, the 200 and 500 swimmer. She will be missed next year. Ansley Worrell. A junior as well. I will try to get a watch out here and see if we can catch some times. They will be completely unofficial. Get in. Oh. Lost it twice. That's okay. If you hear Raj pop in every now and then, you got me back? Can you hear me? It's breaking and coming. It's, it's not All right. We'll get our technical difficulties squared away here. Yeah, better. All right, let's see. We are back. Bridget Belger is in lane one. Grace Cavanaugh center of the pool, and that's Ansley Worrell up top in lane five. Grace Cavanaugh going open up to about a body length lead as all three girls coming across. Hopkinton looking very strong after the first 50. In the turn, that's Bridget Belger, Grace Cavanaugh, Ansley Worrell. All one, two, three across the pool. The girls look strong. Fox Girl holding on in fourth. Challenging for third right now. Middle of the pool, that's Grace Cavanaugh. Closest to us is Bridget Belger. Ansley Worrell up top in lane five as they turn the 75. 200 frees, a, a race of pace, a race of sprint. And half endurance, half sprinter. We've got Grace Cavanaugh and Bridget Belger neck and neck with Ansley Wall right on top of them. All three taking the turn across. The girls look strong as they turn after the first 100 going into their next 50. Eight lengths of the pool for this 200 freestyle. Foxborough hanging in there in fourth place, trying to challenge for third. Bridget Belger in lane one closest to us. That's Grace Cavanaugh in the middle of the pool in lane three. Now open up about a half, half a body length from the two other girls as they turn into the final 50. Ansley Worrell also hanging in there at third. Taking the turn, that's Grash Cavanaugh, center of the pool. Pulling up next to her, Bridget Belger, and up top, Ansley Worrell. Good strokes, good looking swims by the girls. It looks like we should take one, two, three. Fox Worrell trying to challenge for third position. I'm not sure she's going to have enough. Center of the pool, that is Grace Cavanaugh. Looks like she is going to coast to victory. Being challenged by her own teammates closest to us. That's Bridget Belger making a push and Ansley Worrell. It is one, two, three across for Hopkinton. They look good. Foxborough takes fourth as their final swimmer takes the turn into her last 50. And up in lane six, another Foxborough swimmer finishing up. A great race by all three. Hopkinton female swimmers. Right across the pool, evenly matched. We did not get a watch on that. We're gonna to try to get some times in here. We're gonna to try to watch on the women's side tonight. Graduating senior, Andrea Way. She already holds a couple of Hopkinton records. The one that she Yeah, she has, she holds, Andrea Way, the 100 fly, 100 free. Breaking records by Megan Farrell, which was sent back in 2003. Andrea Way, someone to watch in the later races tonight, having a good, a good meet, graduating senior. We're gonna go to the 200 freestyle on the men's side. Ray Lucas will be closest to us in lane one. We're going to have Colin Tyne, Captain Colin Tyne, not captain of the team, but he wears a cape if you haven't seen that young man. And then we get Andrew DeLevel up top in lane five. Colin Tyne, his orange cape and sunglasses. Don't know what his superpowers are, but he's a nice young man. Ray Lucas closest to us. 
Colin Tyne, a junior. Ray Lucas is also a junior, and Andrew DeLeva is a sophomore. And they are off also like the women. We have eight lengths of the pool freestyle. Out in the center of the pool, we've got Colin Tyne, followed by Andrew DeLeva in lane five. And closest to us, that is Ray Lucas, a couple of juniors. These guys will be back. Certainly going to contribute to the team next year. Foxborough opens up about a body length lead right now. Colin Tyne goes into his turn, followed by Ray Lucas and Andrew DeLeva. All swimmers look strong. Foxborough swimmer having a nice race right there in the center of the pool. Hopkin, Hopkinton right now swimming 2 3 4 across. I'm not sure what they're cheering on the other side, but they got a little cheer going on. Taking the turn there as his first 100. That is Colin Tyne in the center of the pool. Closest to us, that is Ray Lucas. And up top, that's Andrew DeLeva. These guys are grinding it out. They all look good. Hopkinton swimmers pretty closely bunched in two, three, and four. Foxborough swimmers open up about a half, about a half a pool length lead. He looks strong coming into his 150. He'll take his final turn coming into the last 50. But for Hopkinton, pretty closely followed by Colin Tyne, Ray Lucas, and Andrew DeLeva. Colin Tyne taking his turn and heading into his last 50. Neck and neck there, Ray Lucas and Andrew DeLeva. Swimmers both grinding it out. They all look very good. A couple of sophomores, or it's a sophomore and a couple of juniors. Colin Tyne takes his turn. He's coming into his last 50. We're going to see a little sprint here. And Ray Lucas and Andrew DeLeva kind of neck and neck coming in for third and fourth. Colin Tyne will take second. Nice swim. Nice swim by the Foxborough swimmer as well. Stroke looked good. Andrew DeLeva looks like he's going to grab third. Ray Lucas taking fourth. Foxborough with two other swimmers in the water. We have a young woman swimming here unofficially in lane two. And up top, another man, another young man swimming in lane six. Both Hopkinton and Foxborough cheer on the swimmers still in the pool. The conclusion of this, we're going to get ourselves ready for the 2 IM. Foxborough finishing up. I don't know if you can get a shot of Coach Brainerd over there. I don't know who dressed him this morning. Look at that. Nice shirt. Nice shorts. Nice socks. That boy's got style. Love Coach Brainerd. Coach Brainerd's been around here for a while. Phenomenal diving coach. Coaches several high schools, several colleges. When you think about MIAA diving and college diving, you think about Coach Jim Brainerd. Been doing it for a long time. Fox Burrow's final swimmer finishes up. Going to move ourselves to the 2IM. Senior Mallory Peishoff, Allison Fu in the center of the pool, and Sierra Schlussel. Three Hopkinton swimmers. Sierra Schlussel Jr., and we've got Allison Fu, who I believe is a sophomore. She is. And then Senior Mallory Peishoff. Allison Fu, a strong showing in the 100 breaststroke, as I said the other day, the other, of the other night, the actual meet. Nickname is the Fu Fighter. As the girls run to the pool, closest to us in lane one, Mallory Peishoff, Allison Fu in the center, and Sierra Schlissel. Two hundred IM. That is fifty yards each of fly back breast and free. Another grueling race, demonstrating the swimmer's ability to master all four strokes. Allison Fu in lane three, taking an early lead, followed very closely in lane one by Mallory Peishoff and 
very closely there also in lane five. That's Sierra Schlussel. The Foo Fighter comes in. She takes her turn going into the backstroke. Allison Foo with a couple body length lead. Very closely followed by Mallory Pyshoff in lane one. Lane five, Sierra Schlussel goes to her back and she's on backstroke now. Allison Fu maintaining a marginal lead. Just over Mallory Pyshoff as they both turn coming in the last 25. Fox Brawl right now in third position, challenged by Sierra Schlissel in lane five. Allison Fu and Mallory Pyshoff gonna come in about the same. Allison Fu, a great breaststroker, look for her to try to open up a lead here. Sierra Schlissel coming in. She will roll into her breaststroke as well. Allison Fu, Mallory Pyshoff opening up their lead in one and two. Foxborough holding on to three, followed closely by Mallory Pyshoff in fourth. A Foo Fighter takes the turn at the final 25 of the breaststroke leg. Mallory Pyshoff following closely. Allison Fu. Up top, Sierra Schlussel holding on to fourth, challenging for third. And taking the final turn, Allison Fu goes into her 50 freestyle. Final two laps of the 2 IM. And that is out Mallory Pyshoff in lane one, taking her turn. And Sierra Schlussel trying to make up a little bit of ground. Seeing if she can pull out third place. She's starting to press, gaining a little bit on the Foxborough swimmer. Allison Fu takes a turn at the other end of the pool, coming in for her last 25. Mallory Pyshoff taking the turn as well as they are gutting it out. A grueling race, eight laps, two of each stroke. That is Sierra Schlussel up top, pushing hard, trying to get herself in the third position. And she is closing. We'll see what she can do as Mally Pyshoff takes second. Hopkinton goes one, two, four. Sierra Schlussel, not quite enough pool left for her to get herself into third position. But a nice showing for her in fourth. So the boys try to line up behind them. Spaxboro finishes up. Swimmers in both lane two and lane six coming in. Hopkinton looking strong tonight. We're going to go to the 2 IM on the boys' side. We've got Aditya Dodo, we've got Zach Holbrow, and Tyler Holbrow. Tyler Holbrow, freshman brother of Zach. Zach, a junior captain. Zach, a gutsy swimmer. A lot of heart in his swims. Love watching that young man swim. Aditya Dodo. A freshman as well. So we get two freshmen and a junior. Some great swims by these younger swimmers. They're going to have some shoes to fill for the graduating men. Sam Richardson, Ben Pesson, and Ian Holmes, captain of the 2018 squad. Returning captains Jack Brennan and Zach Holbrow, both juniors. Hopkinton's got a lot to be proud about for this particular season. An emotional, incredible season for the team under first year head coach Jeff Libby, longtime assistant coach Karen Terry at his side. Jeff's done a great job in motivating these young men and women during this entire season. Had a great showing. Five and one in the TVL, second place overall. The women swimming independently have been undefeated, and it looks like if they maintain tonight with against Foxborough, they should remain undefeated for the season. Strong women's side and men's side as well. 2 IM for the men. Aditya Dutta, Zach Holbrow, Tyler Holbrow. Some bragging rights from the Holbrow brothers there. Junior. Junior Zach, freshman Tyler. Fox, Foxborough puts three swimmers in the waters and leans two, four, and six. Zach Holbrow takes a turn, followed by brother Tyler and Aditya Duda. 
Foxborough is one, two, three across. As they come into the turn, that is Zach Holbrow is going to make the turn going into the backstroke. Tyler, Zach, and Aditya. Hopkinton looking very good. Tyler very strong in the butterfly as well as, or Zach very strong in the uh, butterfly as well as his brother Tyler. Aditya Duda getting some good coaching there on the side by Coach Jeff Libby. Keep those feet moving. Center of the pool, that is Ty Zach Holbrow, followed by Tyler Holbrow up there in lane five. Dicha Dota closest to us has moved himself clearly into third position on the backstroke, opening up some length, some lead against the Foxborough swimmers. Taking the turn in the breaststroke, Zach Holbrow in the middle of the pool, Tyler Holbrow closely behind him. Dicha Dota turns and he is going to head into the breaststroke as well. Hopkinton, one, two, three in the pool right now with the commanding lead in first and second. And Aditya did open up a little bit more room for himself in third spot, but being challenged by Foxborough. At the turn, that's Tyler, Zach Holbrow and Tyler Holbrow almost neck and neck at this point. My sense is that Zach is going to gut it out in the 53 and not allow his younger brother to win. But we'll see as it looks like they are going to come pretty close at the turn. That is Zach and Tyler taking the turn into the 50. Let's see where this goes. Great effort on both spots. And that's Aditya Duda. He is close on third as they take the turn into the freestyle. Foxborough's challenged to now move themselves into third position. But Aditya Duda is pushing hard. Zach Holbrow with about a body length or a half body length lead on his brother Tyler. It's coming down neck and neck. It's going to be for bragging rights. Looks like the freshman may touch him out. Let's see where it goes. Oh, the freshman got him. Tyler Holbrow with the win. Zach Holbrow coming in second. A great swim. Nothing to be ashamed about there. But my guess is that's going to be an interesting car ride home. And that's Aditya Duda coming in in fourth position. Nice swim as well. So Hopkinton goes 1-2 with the whole Brow brothers. Aditya Duda picks up fourth. Foxborough still with a swimmer in the water coming around on the final leg of the freestyle for the 2 IM. Lined up in the pool is the 53. This is not a time to go get a drink or hit the bathroom. This will be a pretty quick race. 25 seconds in the pool, more than likely, as the girls are lining up. Foxborough swimmer coming in on his final lap. Touching in. For the girls, we're going to have Harley Richardson, Rachel Zale, and Cassie White. Straight across the pool. The nice part about swimming men and women, we can get more depth. This is where Hopkinton really shines, their depth of swimmers. Get a lot more swimmers in the pool tonight. See some different folks. Some folks who have been swimming relays are now going to swim some individual events. It's a lot of fun. So again, coming across the pool, lean one, Harley Richardson, three, Rachel Zale. And lean five, that is Cassie White. Cassie White, the Frenchman, swimming alongside uh, that is senior Harley Richardson, I believe. Yes. And I think also senior captain Rachel Zale. So we'll see what the young freshman can do against the two seniors, both graduating. Looking for a 50 freeze flower or sprinter. Good showing so far by both the men and the women. Quick race, 50 free, up and back. This is all about starts and turns. See how the girls fare. So going in the water, we got Harley Richardson, Rachel Zale, Cassie White, center of the pool. That is Rachel Zale out to a quick start. She is followed closely by Cassie White, freshman. And closest to us in lane one, that is Harley Richardson, Rachel Zale. Holding on to the lead, followed closely by and challenged by Cassie White. 
Closest to us, that is Harley Richardson coming in. It's going to be close. Ooh, too close to call. First and second, Hopkinton. That's Rachel Zale, Cassie White. We'll see who picked that one up. Both look good. Harley Richardson coming in fourth. As I said, a pretty quick swim there. We do have a second heat. And I don't have any names, so I'm going to be winging it. See if I can remember who some of these young ladies are. Oh, uh, let's see. Yep, here we go. Yes, I do. I got Peyton Salyards. I got Maggie Miller and Elizabeth Kane. So for the second heat, we're going to have Peyton Salyards, Maggie Miller, Elizabeth Kane. Kate, uh, Peyton Salyards is going to be in lane one. Maggie Miller, lane three. Elizabeth Kane up in lane five. Earlier this season, we got to hear a freshman. Elizabeth Kane sing the national anthem. Wonderful voice on that young lady. As the officials figuring out who actually won that race, too close to call between Rachel Zell and Catchy White. All right, heat number two. Peyton Salyards, Maggie Miller, Elizabeth Kane. Straight across Hopkinton. Foxborough puts three swimmers in the water as well. Good start here in lane one by Peyton Salyards. Across the pool in one, three, and five. That's Hopkinton, Peyton Salyards, Maggie Miller, and Elizabeth Kane. Nice turn in lane one. Peyton Salyards, Maggie Miller there out in the middle of the pool, and Elizabeth Kane. Moves herself in the second position after that turn. 53 styles about starts and turns. Peyton Salyards coming in. That's going to be followed by Maggie Miller and, uh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth Kane up top, and that's Maggie Miller in the center of the pool. One, two, three for Hopkinton in that heat. Peyton Salyards, Elizabeth Kane, and Maggie Miller. Good swims by those young ladies across the pool. I believe we're going to ride up the first of the men's. Ritesh Rajanigan in lane one, Sam Richardson and Ian Holmes. That's your boy out there, Raj. Yep. Swim in the 50. He hasn't swam the 50 much this year, has he? I'm not sure. No, I think he's been swimming a lot of the, uh, been a fly specialist. Anxious to see what Ritesh has got in the tank tonight. Going against seniors, Sam Richardson and Ian Holmes. Be interesting to see the young sophomore in lane one. Having a great season. He swam a couple of gutsy swims the other night against Ashland. Good looking fly. They always need fly guys. So we'll see what he's got in the 53. All about the start and the turn. Sam Richards in the middle of the pool. Ian Holmes, captain, senior out there in lane five. We will say... Goodbye to both Ian Holmes and Sam Richardson, graduating seniors. Only three on the men's side, but 11, I believe, on the girls' side. One, two, three, four. 11, 11 on the women's side. So this strong women's team is losing probably about a third of their squad. So a lot of recruiting, a lot of off-season activity, and a lot of shoes to fill by these younger swimmers. And we get ready for the 53 on the men's side. Lane one, Ritesh Rajan again. Sam Richardson, Ian Holmes there in the water. That is Sam Richardson off to a quick start, followed closely by Foxborough. Then up in lane five, that is Ian Holmes in fourth position with Ritesh Rajan again. That is Sam Richardson. Sam Richardson swimming strong. Ritesh Rosanigan now moved himself into third position. Fourth position. Sam Richardson, Ian Holmes, and Ritesh Rosanigan. Great swims across the pool. Hopkinton goes one, three, four. Gutsy swim there by Sam Richardson and a good looking swim by 
Ritesh and Ian Holmes. Nice one by the young sophomore. That'll make Dad proud, right, Dad? Yeah. There you go. <coughs> we're going to do another heat of the 50 free. Uh, we're going to sneak in Stephanie Kapalis in uh, lane one. We've got the Connor Murchy, Connor the Murch, the Murch man, at the center of the pool in lane three, and Jack Brennan showing himself up in lane five. Jack a diver as well as a swimmer. Jack, a junior captain. Having a great diving season as well as a good swimming season. So we've got Stephanie, Connor, and Jack. Swimmer step up to the blocks, 50 freestyle, heat two. And into the water they go. Stephanie Kapalas, the merch man, and Jack Brennan. That's the merchant, Jack Brennan out front. Jack Brennan, nice looking swim, coming into the turn. Smooth stroke. Jack Brennan and Connor Murchie take the turn. Stephanie Kapolis in lean one, trailing by about a half a body length. That is going to be Jack Brennan taking the win. Up top in lean five, followed closely by the merch man, Connor Murchie, center of the pool, and Stephanie Kapolis. Three across the pool, one, two, three. Good swims by Hopkinton. A lot of former parents here tonight of swimmers that have graduated as Hopkinton's got a big crowd here for senior night. We have done the diving. We may have a quick break here before we go into the 100 fly. Let's see if we have a small warm up. If we do, we'll probably take a break. Well, we'll give it a minute and just see. Well, we'll keep this running. It looks like we've got some folks coming out of the... Take a quick... Let me take a quick break. We'll see what's going on, and then we'll come back in a sec. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. We are back as the parents line up. I don't know, Faraj, if you want to pan the pool deck as all the parents lined up for the graduating seniors. This is senior night where diving normally takes place. We're going to have the recognition of all the seniors by their teammates, by the parents. As I said, this is a team that is characterized, in my opinion anyways, by heart. Led by all their senior and senior captains, junior captains. A lot of hard work, a lot of fun. Everything I hear about the squad is phenomenal. Everything that Coach Jeff Libby has done in his first year to bolster Hill of Pride has been well received by all the swimmers. We will have a list of the seniors and the parents. So we can try to keep up with this tonight. And it looks like we're going to go in alphabetical order. And then we'll get to the captains. So again, a lot of chatter, a lot of excitement for senior night. As you pan across the pool, you can see a host of signs. 
and a host of good wishes for all the seniors that are graduating. For some, this will be the last time they enter a pool. For others, they will go on. They will swim in college. They may dive in college. Maddie Stiles hands her away, too, that I know of. All right, so we begin with Brooklyn Briner, greeted by her parents, April and Joel. April and Joel, parents of Brooklyn Briner, senior graduating. Hugs all around by mom and dad. Kelly Burke, greeted by her parents, Kathy and Jim. Kelly runs through the gauntlet of swimmers. Joined by the rest of her family as well. Mallory Pishaw, greeted by her parents, Melissa and Will. It's the Burke family, all the families out there. That's the way you want to see it. The Pishaw family as well, Pishaw family. Melissa and Will greeting their senior, Mallory. Ben Pessum, greeted by mom, Rebecca. Senior Ben. Greeted on deck by his mom, Rebecca. Julia Pillarella. Greeted by mom and dad, Susan and David. Julia hustles through the gauntlet and jogs over to mom and dad. Andrew Puttenzoni. Greeted by coaches Karen, Terry, and Jeff Libby. As Karen wheels herself over there with a bad leg. Andrew is the team manager. Coming through now, Harley and Sam Richardson. Greeted by Martha on deck. Greeting the two seniors, Harley and Sam Richardson. And a couple others from the family. Martha and a couple of the brothers and uh, brothers, couple sisters. Coming through now is Andrew Way. Senior swimmer. Record holder, greeted by her mother and father, Lee Chen and Jay. First of the captains, Bridget Belger, being greeted by parents, Maureen and John. Maureen and John, normally the folks that you see up here on the camera, John, been a long time voice in the booth. Greeting their daughter, Bridget. Ian Holmes being greeted by Maureen and David, mother and father. Senior captain runs through, throwing some high fives. A lot of hugs, a lot of tears as these seniors get ready to say goodbye to the Hiller Swimming Program. Maggie Miller, now she's greeted by her mother and father, Holly and Phil. Pictures being taken first as Maggie sits tight. And a run over to mom and dad. That's Holly and Phil greeting senior captain Maggie Miller. Caitlin O'Connor. Greeted by mother and father, Mary Alice and Chris, and the rest of the family. Live and die by Springsteen, the O'Connor family does. M.A. and Chris, big Springsteen fans. The rest of the family is as well. 
Caitlin, senior captain, and the rest of the family that's out there. The O'Connors, next captain is Maddie Staus, senior diver. Greeted by first coach Jim Brader and Ann and Jim Staus. And that's Kate Staus out there, Green versus her sister as well. Finally coming through the gauntlet, Rachel Zale. Greeted by parents Becky and Steve. As the last of the captains comes through. As you can see, there is a line of seniors graduating. A lot of big shoes to fill. A lot of big personalities to fill. A lot of heart to fill. As we say goodbye to the seniors and they say goodbye to the Hiller Swimming Program. Once again, we say goodbye to Brooke Briner, Kelly Burke, Mallory Pishoff, Ben Pesson, Julia Pillarello, Pillarello Andrew Pettenzone, Harley and Sam Richardson, Andrea Way, and Captains Bridget Belger, Ian Holmes, Maggie Miller, Caitlin O'Connor, Maddie Staus, and Rachel Zale. We also have a changing of the guard here on both camera and in the booth as we say goodbye to longtime announcer and camera operators, Maureen and John Belger. We'll take a quick break here as we wrap up for the seniors. We're going to head into the swimming in a minute, but we'll sign off for a second. Take a break. Hey, Kevin. Oh, maybe we're not. There we go. If you ever wonder what we look like up here, there you go. <laughs> All right, we'll get one last photo of the seniors out there. Actually, what we'll try to do is maybe we can get one of the seniors up here on the headset, have them talk a little bit about their experience. Maybe we can grab Maddie Staus, have her come up. Maddie Staus, maybe we can get her and see if she wants to put a headset on, talk a little bit about her four years and what she's going to be doing. See if we can get a couple of the seniors up here. We've done that before. It's a lot of fun. We let them announce and have a good time, talk a little bit about their four years, what it's meant to them, what they're doing. A lot of pictures, a lot of fun. Again, this isn't about a score tonight. This is about times. This is about a team that has gone through a lot team that is probably one of the closest and teams filled with heart that I have ever seen here in Hiller Swimming. So great group of kids, big round of applause. Yeah, see if she wants to come up. Send somebody down, see if we get Maddie Stouse to come up. What I'm going to do, Raj, is if she comes up, we're going to steal your headset and see if she can... Uh, Talk to us a little bit about her experiences in the program. Maybe we can grab a couple other seniors. We'll see how it goes. Take a few minutes here while good. We're gonna pull Maddie Staus up here in a couple of minutes as she gives some hugs to mom and dad. Kids are gonna have a little warm up. What we'll do is we're gonna shut the camera off. We'll take a break right now. We'll come back in a minute. We'll have Maddie Staus up here with us when we resume swimming. Do you find yourself feeling down in winter? Or if you experience depression through the year, does it get worse in the colder and darker months? I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall. You may lose your energy and motivation. You may feel sluggish, agitated, distracted, hopeless, and you may have problems with sleeping, your appetite, or suicidal thoughts. SAD can lead to social withdrawal, problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. 
You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. All right, we are back. As we just finished up senior night, we go into the 100 fly. And we've got Kaylee Cohane, Caitlin O'Connor, and as, uh, now Alyssa Fisher. All right, I'm going to see. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. We're also joined in the booth by senior captain Maddie Staus. So it's kind of like calling a horse race, you know, except they're friends of yours out there. Yeah. Them, so that's all we're going to do. So tell me about, I'm going to just, let's see, I'm going to try to keep track of the race at the same time here and ask Maddie a couple of questions. So we've got Kaylee, Caitlin, and Alyssa Fisher. That's Caitlin out in the middle of the pool. We've got uh, Alyssa Fisher up in lane five and Kaylee Cohen close um, in lane one. Hopkinton going one, two. So Maddie, how has this season been different from every other season? Has this one been a little bit different? A little bit of emotion, a little bit of spirit? What Definitely a lot more spirit, uh, a lot more team camaraderie. Um, it's been a little more laid back. I think that um, Jeff has a very different coaching style. It's honestly been one of the most fun seasons. That's always great to hear. You can see it in the kids. I keep telling everybody as we announce up here that it's probably a, it's probably the most um, most spirited group of individuals that I've seen, and we've watched five or six teams go through here as the last of the swimmers finish up. Um, so it's evident from us up here in the stands as well, and it sounds like you guys feel the same way down there. What do you think about first-year coach Jeff Libby? How do you like his coaching style? How do you think the season went? Um, I He's doing a great job. Um, his coaching style is a little different. He's more, he's not as results-based. He's more, his kind of philosophy is like trust the process and, you know, just go out there and have fun. And the, you know, the chips will kind of fall as they may. And if you win, you win, great. And if you don't, then you walk out with your head held high and you just go back to practice and you work hard and you hope for another good meet. Well, I think that's kind of interesting for a guy who's not really results-based. You guys had a phenomenal season as the women went undefeated with a big win against Whalen and 5-1 and one in the TVL league against in a close meet against a stacked Ashland team. So I think he did pretty well for somebody who wasn't looking for results. I think he got some great results. Right. We'll get this one started in just a sec. Give me one sec. 100 fly on the men's side, Connor Murchie in lane one. We've got Ritesh Rajanigan up in lane three in the center pool, and Sam Cody out there in lane five. So the other thing I need to bring you up here is I don't necessarily need all the nicknames for the seniors. What I want is a nickname for all these younger guys. Like Sam Cody, yeah, you know, he's got great flow, you know. <laughs> gotta love that kid's hair. But, you know, the merch man's out there in, you know, in lane one. I know a few, you know, a couple guys here and there. My mm -hmm. good friend, you know, Captain Collentine in this cape, but I need some nicknames, so you got to help me a little bit. Yeah, um, there's not really one for Sam, not really one for Ritesh. Connor definitely goes by merch 98% yep. of the time. I'm trying to, trying to think of some other good nicknames on the team. We'll come up with a few as we finish up the race. That's Ritesh for John again out there in the center of the pool having a phenomenal swim in the 100 fly. Sam Cody up there in lane five. And closest to us is the merch man, Connor Merch. And Tash Rajanigan is going to lead it going away with a first place swim. That's Sam Cody up there coming in second, and Connor Merchie. So now, Maddie, you're getting ready for both um, sectionals and states. You're going to leave Hopkinton holding the record for the 11 dive uh, diving record. You think you get a shot at the sixth dive, or is that over with at this point? Um, well. You got the TVL meet as well, right? Right, and today I went a uh, 288, which is just. Not that far off. Yeah. yeah, that's just about 20 points. So maybe if I had done my 
fifth dive a little better. I could have been a little closer, but I'm going to ask my coach if I can dive a very similar list at TVLs, and I'm definitely going to get in that mindset of just trying to clinch that record, hopefully. Now we saw a 10 tonight. Was that the first 10? I think tonight it was. Is it the first 10 of your career? You've probably seen a couple of those. Um, I've seen a couple of 10s in the past, but it was the first 10 of the season. Now, are you planning on continuing to dive in college? Yeah, I'm going to be diving at Denison University out in Granville, Fantastic. Ohio. Yeah. Great school, good Division Three, I believe, right? Yep. Denison? Yep. Yep. Excellent school. What are you going to be studying out there? I'm hoping for a major in psychology, possible minor in creative writing. Fantastic. And then hoping to go on and get my master's, possibly in special education. That sounds excellent. We line up for the 100 free. We're just going to go through the round up here real quick. Closest to us, Bridget Belger in the center of the pool, Andrea Way and Abby Fisher. Andrea Way is already the record holder in the 100 freestyle, 52.95, set earlier this year. Having a great swim season. Yeah, she's definitely super fun to have on the team. She's got a great fun, kind of like bubbly personality, and her swims are just unreal. She's fun to watch as she opens it up here in the 100 freeze, turns into her second 50, followed closely in lane one by Bridget Belger, and also up there in lane five by Abby Fisher. So you guys graduate 11 women. You got a big squad of women behind you. Who are we going to be looking for in the coming years to fill the shoes of all these graduating seniors? I don't know. We definitely have a lot of strong underclassmen. Um, our boys, especially. You know, we have Ritesh, we have Sam Cody, we have Aditya, Tyler. It was kind of fun watching Tyler and Tyler Zach. Tyler and Zach. It was a nice race today. Go huh? head to head. <laughs> that was funny. That's going to be an interesting car ride home. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Jack is a great diver, and he's also been improving. Um, on his sprints. Yep. Good sprinter, yeah. Brianna and Juliana are both very talented divers, and they should continue to get better because they do train year-round. Yeah, that was a pleasure to see, in addition to yourself, and you've been doing this for a long time, watching um, watching those two have phenomenal seasons as well. It looks like the diving program's going to stay fairly solid. Jack Brennan, another solid diver, um, and I'm sure Jeff is going to be looking at some freshmen to bring in, some eighth graders, find out who's who's a gymnast and wants to start diving. There are some um, divers actually under Jim Brainerd who will, there's one, her name is Tess, who's already so amazing. She trains year round with Jim um, out at his club team and she will be entering the high school next year. So. And Jim Brainerd's been around for a long time doing this and you know, I've said this before when we have a, uh, you know, when we announce diving and I don't know if we can find him on the deck again, but. You know, first off, he's a man of such style. I love what that guy dresses. But it's not like he's your prototypical sort of diver physique. So, you know, he must be doing something with you guys right to get the dives down. What do you think it is? Well, he has an amazing kind of, you know, track record. He was an amazing diver. He dove at Trinity. Um, he's produced so many good divers out of this high school program. Um, you know, we graduated Renee and Lissy, both, yep. both trained under him in uh, year round. I just think he has a way, of, he just has been diving and been around the sport for so long. He just sees everything. You know, he just has a way of analyzing every single dive, fixing every single little problem. Well, certainly the man gets results, and he's been doing it for a long time. As we're in the 100, uh, 100 freestyle for the men's, Aditya did it closest to us in lane one. That's Ian Holmes in the center pool and Cole Salyards. Fox Pearl opening up a lead, being challenged by Cole Salyards, and then Ian Holmes in lane three, followed by Aditya did it in lane two. A couple of returning captains on the men's side, Zach and Jack. As Foxborough takes the win in the 100 freestyle. That's uh, Cole Salyards, Ian Holmes, and then it'd be Chicago. Hopkinson goes two, three, and four. What I'm going to do is, um, if you know of any other senior that wants to come up, 
We'll throw the headphones on them as well and let you go back and join your team if you want to. Everybody wishes you the best. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Night and a phenomenal four-year career. Thank you. Once again, we say goodbye to Maddie Stouse, Captain Senior, record holder. She's going to have three more opportunities to pick up the other diving record at both the TVLs, sectionals, and states. Best of luck to you, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. All right, Maddie. Senior Maddie Stouse. A lot of high praise for Coach Jim Brainerd. I give Coach a hard time from up here, but he's a phenomenal coach. He's been doing it for a long time. And we are getting ourselves ready for the 500 free. Look at the lineup on the women's side. 500 free, we're going to have Sophie Cowan, Holly Burns, and Kelly Burke. Sophie Cowan is going to be in lane one closest to us. That's Holly Burns at the center pool. Kelly Burke up there in lane five. 500 freestyle. This is a long race. So if you want to go get a snack, now's the time to do it. This is 20 laps. Up and down the pool. This is all about form. This is all about stamina. As we see, Sophie Cowan, Holly Burns, and Kelly Burke head out. Foxborough. Puts three swimmers into the pool. You'll see numerous lane lead changes in this particular swim. It is a long event. Five or six minute event here. I have a little bit of air time. I'll try not to talk over the entire race. background you can hear the Hopkinton swimmers cheering on the folks in the pool. As you get up to the other end of the pool you'll see the beach swimmer as a lap counter. It is a long race nobody wants to remember whether they have swum 18 or 20 laps so they've got a lap counter at the end as they swim the under. Taking the turn almost simultaneously that is Sophie Cowan and Holly Burns coming up top that is Kelly Burke. Coach Jeff Libby throws a couple of swimmers in. High praise also from Maddie Stouts for first year head coach Jeff Libby. Taking over for Brian King. Stepped aside this year after 20 years and a phenomenal coaching career. Jeff Libby, assistant coach last year, being groomed to hold as the assistant coach as Coach Karen Terry was hoping to eventually retire. He has decided to stay on for a little while. The girls take the turn down here. Again, we've got Holly Burns, center of the pool, Sophie County, Kelly Burke. Fox Girls swimmers swimming right now in three, four, or not, fourth, fifth, and sixth place. Hopkinton holding one, two, and three. Karen Terry will stay on for a little while with Coach Jeff Libby. As Maddie said, a lot of team spirit, a lot of enthusiasm. You can see that. A lot of cheers on the side. It's a big squad. It's a lot to manage. Living in around a pool time. Jeff Levy a little bit more laid back. As she said, not so much results driven, but he had great results for his first year. Five and one in the TVL, second place. For the girls team that went undefeated, he still has the TVL league meet in front of him. That will not determine the winner of the TVL. That has been determined. Ashland with a close win the other night. Remains undefeated in the TVL and will hold the TVL crown. But bragging rights at the TVL meet. So we will see if Hopkinson's depth can add availability at the TVL league meet. And there'll be sectionals and states. Hopkinton will be sending swimmers to both. Taking the turn in lane five, it's Kelly Burke. Up at the other end of the pool. 
Holly Burns, lane three, closest pass on lane one, that is Safety Cowan. side of the 500 as well, right after this. Again, a good time to pour a frozen pizza in the oven. Or to put a hot pocket into the microwave. Of course, these kids are out there swimming and then talking about food. Kelly Burke taking her turn as the swimmer swim past the halfway mark. Center pool, that is Holly Burns. Closest to us is Sophie Cowan. Hopkinton, one, two, three right now. Foxborough Towns in for third spot. Against Kelly Burke, and she's still holding a two body length lead. Right now, Hopkinton, one, two, three. That is Holly Burns in the center of four, opens up the lead. Holly Burke in lead one. And Sophie Cowan. Holly Burke taking a turn, heading into her. 15th lap. And that's in the center of four, Holly Burns. Now she takes a turn, she's got 100 left. So if Cowan will take her turn and then earn her final 100. Challenged up top in lane five by Foxborough. That's Kelly Burke trying to hold on to third position. Foxborough putting on a little bit of charge in lane four. Holly Burns coming down. She's going to get the bell lap, I believe. Yep, she's got the bell lap coming up. She's down to 50 left. Kelly Burke evened up there by Foxborough. As Holly Burns takes the bell lap, she's got 50 left to go. Coming in right behind her in second place, taking the turn as Holly Burns puts on a little bit of a sprint. A little pep now, she's just got a 50 left to go, and this is Sophie Cowan taking the turn. She returns for her final 50, a little bit of a race going on for third position. Up top is we've got Kelly Burke being challenged by Foxborough. Kelly Burke. Holding her own as Holly Burns comes in. She will finish strong. She's going to take the win. That is Holly Burns. We've got a race to third place. That's Kelly Burke and Foxball. Neck and neck at the turn. Kelly Burke with a little bit left as they go into their final lap. That's Sophie Cowan in lane one. Going to take a convincing second. It's going to be a race for third after 20 laps of the pool. So if you take second, Huffington goes one, two, hoping to go three. Let's see what Kelly Burke's got left in the tank. She takes a turn. They are almost neck and neck. Let's see if she's got a little bit of sprint left. 20 laps. Let's see what she's got. Might not have enough. A long, grueling race for Kelly Burke up there in lane five. A good swim. Foxborough will take fourth. Kelly Burke takes Eric, I'm sorry, Foxborough takes third. Kelly Burke takes fourth. Foxborough just beats out being swept from the 500 by the ladies. Good swims all across the board by Holly Burns, Sophie Cowan, Kelly Burke. Good to see a couple of different faces in there in the 500. Sophie Cowan is a freshman. And Kelly Burke, a senior. Long Holly Burns also a freshman, so a couple of freshmen in the middle, a couple of freshmen in that swim, along with senior Kelly Burke. So girls will swim it down. And look for the 500 free. Closest to us in lean one, that is going to be Andrew Deleva, center of the pool, Alex Matsukas. And then up top, that is Blake Reiner. 
saw a couple of these guys already. Already in the 200. Andrew Galeva, Andrew Galeva, Alex Matsukas, Blake Reiner. Again, 20 laps in the pool. Good time if you want to stretch your legs, stand up while you're watching. Just want to swim it down. Foxborough looks like they're only going to put one swimmer in. Race will start momentarily. Once again, Andrew Deleva, Alex Matsukas, and the Lake Rainer. Lake Rainer, sophomore, Alex Deleva, sophomore, Alex Matsukas, Matsukas, there we go. Also a sophomore, so we've got three sophomores across the board. Out early is Alex, followed very closely by Blake and Andrew Deleva hanging in after the first 50 in third position. Blake and Alex take the turn together. 500 freestyle, it's about pace, it's about stroke, it's about how efficient you are in the water. It's about good turns, about glide and stroke. Lane one, Andrew Deleva, Alex Matsukas up in the center of the pool, and Blake Reiner. All three sophomore men swimmers. We're looking to add some depth. Normally we see Zach Hallbrow in this race. Great 500 swimmer. Coach trying to get some times by some of these younger swimmers as he's got some shoes to fill with three solid graduating seniors on the men's side, Ian Holmes, Ben Hessian, and Sam Richardson. We said earlier, three men graduating, 11 women graduating. We were pleased to get senior Maddie Stiles, five up here in the booth a little while ago. Animated young lady, off to Denison College, she was she will die as well. Hopkinton is one, two, three across the board. Strong swims by all swimmers. That's Andrew Gillette, the closest pass. Alex Matsukas in the center of the pool and Blake Blaine up top. Unfortunately, I was hoping to get a couple more nicknames out of Maddie. I didn't get any, so we'll have to, we'll have to work on it because there's nothing, nothing like this. I don't want to call anybody by their real name. So we'll have to work on some of the uh, nicknames for all these swimmers. Cheers in the background by the Hopkinton sidelines. A large team of swimmers over there for Hopkinton. Nice, nice uh, affair tonight and senior night. A few tears, a lot of hugs as we graduate. 14 seniors, a big crew. Neck and neck coming into the next turn. That is Alex Metzikas and Blake Griner followed closely in lane one by Andrew DeLeva. All three swap sophomore boys. Solid swimmers as they enter the second half of the race. Taking the turn at the halfway mark. Counters down the other end. Weaving those counters up and down, trying to move the swimmers along. Center of the pool once again, Alex Mitsukas. Blake Reiner, neck and neck. Followed closely and third by Andrew Glover. The boys look to sweep as they're solid. Heading up for the 13th lap. 20 laps, the 500 freestyle. For the men, qualifying time for section is 521. State time, 520. Hopkinton record of 456 set back in 2012. 
anywhere around 5, 505, 510 is a great swim as these swimmers take the turn. That is Alex Matsukas and, and uh, Blake Griner followed closely by Andrew Gilemo who started to close that gap in lane one. Little pep in his step as he's trying to close the gap. Lexi Swimmer had a nice turn in the 200. He's got closing speed. They take their turn at the 15th lap right now, and they are coming into their final 100. Center of the pool. And actually, um, Blake Greiner taking a slight lead, about a body length lead over Alex Matsukas. Andrew Leather, Delever grinding it out. He's starting to put some closing on Alex as Blake Greiner enters in his last 100. Alex Matsukas in the center of the pool. Andrew Deleva with that closing speed of the sprinter starting to close on Alex Matsukas. It's still 1-2-3 for Hopkinson. This is just about where these guys are going to come in amongst themselves as the three swap sophomores swim side by side across the pool. That's Blake Greiner turning, taking the bell lap. He's going to take the turn in first. That's Alex Matsukas, about a body length and a half behind. Andrew Glover closing quickly on Alex. It's Hopkinson, one, two, three. Blake Kreiner up top. Alex Matsukas in the center of the pool. Andrew Deleva, lane one. <clears throat> this is about bragging rights right now against the Hopkinson swimmers as they take the final turn into the final 25. A little sprint by Blake Kreiner, the sophomore, trying to win this 500 race. Alex Matsukas in the center of the pool. He's pushing hard. And the Deleva in lane one with closing speed, trying to pick up and takes third place. It is one, two, three across the board. Foxborough swimmer still has a couple of turns. He enters into his last 50. Good swims by the three sophomores. Why does they swim and sophomore at the same time? It does not go well. Too many S's. Going to move next as the Fox Cross swimmer finishes up into the 200 free relay. On the ladies' side in lane one, we're going to have, uh, let's see, Maggie Miller. I'm going to have to look it up. We've got a couple of changes here to handle it now. So give me one more. Center of the pool, we're going to have Rachel Zell, Grace Cavanaugh, Andrew Way, Abby Fisher. And then we're going to have Bridget Belger, Andrew Laurel, and Cassie White and M.L. Burke. Uh, let's see, Maggie Miller, looks like we're going to have, uh, I don't know if it's going to be Alyssa Fisher. It's definitely going to be Caitlin O'Connor. Sure, who the number two swimmer is in in lane one? Could be Abby Fisher. Could be Alex. Not Alex of Fool. Could be Alyssa Fisher, maybe. I don't know. It's lane one. Caitlin O'Connor, Brooklyn Briner, Maggie Miller, and I'm not sure who else. Center of the pool, Rachel Zell, Grace Cavanaugh, Andrew Way, Abby Fisher. And then Bridget Belger, Andrew Worrell, Cassie White, and Emily Burr. Wow. Uh, in the pool, Maggie Miller, Rachel Zell, Bridget Belger. That is Rachel Zale, center of the pool. Bridget Belger up top. Maggie Miller in lane one. Bridget Belger, Rachel Zale coming in. That's Grace Cavanaugh and Andrew Wall one in the pool. And our mistress from lane one, I apologize. We have a cross out, and I do not know who that is. Center of the pool once again, Grace Cavanaugh and Andrew Wall. Uh, Mr. Swimmer in lane one. As Hopkinson goes one two, we're going to turn it over to Andrew Way and Cassie White. Cassie White, a nice 53 style earlier this evening. 
And then Caitlin O'Connor, that's actually, I'm not sure if that's Caitlin O'Connor, but when it's just Renewal, I think he's mixing up the, uh, mixing up the, uh, the lineup here. Andrew Wade coming in. She's going to hand it off to Abby Fisher. Cassie White's going to hand it to Mary Lauren Burke. And Mel Burke, as I like to call her. And I'll keep calling her that until she tells me not to. Tipton Bryant are going into the water in lane one. So it's Hopkinton one, two. That is Abby Fisher in the center of the pool. And Mary Lauren Burke and Mel Burke up there in lane five. Coming in, Abby Fisher. Good, strong swim by Hopkinton. These guys are trying to put times down for sectionals and states. And they'll work up there in lane five. And so up and up the final coming in in lane one. Hopkinton goes one, two, and four. Good show by the ladies. Over to the men's side, Liam McGinnis, Jack Brennan, Angel DeLever, Connor Murchie, and one, Sam Richardson, Cole Salyer, Tyler Halbrow, and Alex Metsukas. And we've got Blake Bryan, Aradichi Duda, Zach Holbrow, and Ian Holmes. It's going to be interesting, Coach has both Tyler, Holm, uh, Tyler Holbrow and Zach Holbrow swimming in the third slot against one another. We'll call the 200 IM. Yeah, Tyler and Zach swimming against each other, and the freshman Tyler beat him by a short, small amount. So Liam, Sam, and Blake Bryan are going to be our first up. And Deleva, Deleva's got a quick turnaround as he just finished the 500. Now he's going to come back and swim 50. It's a little bit of work for that young man. At least they could just let him be the anchor, give him another 30 seconds of rest. So up on the, for the 200 free, uh, free relay for the men. Liam McGinnis, Sam Richardson, Blake Branner across the pool. Sam Richardson out for another lead. Nice dodge and start. 53 is about to start the turn. That's Sam Richardson. Blake Branner up top in lane five. Closest to us is Liam McGinnis. Taking the turn, Sam Richardson challenged by Foxborough. Sam Richardson coming in, Foxborough close second, that is Blake Finer up top, Liam McGinnis close to us. Hands it off to Cole Salyard. Cole Salyard's in the pool for Hopkinton. The D2 Dutta goes into the pool up top in lane five, and that is Jack Brennan. Driver and swimmer going in in lane one. On the turn, that's Cole Salyard in the center of the pool. The D2 Dutta up top in lane five. Closing on Foxborough for challenges for second position. And Jack Brennan. Hands it off right now in the center of the pool with Tyler Holbrow. Zach Holbrow is going to take over for, from Aditya Dutta up in lane five. And in lane one closest to us, that's Andrew Deleva after just coming off of the 500 free. Center of the pool, opening up a bigger lead. That is Tyler Holbrow. Zach Holbrow with closing speed against Fox Pearl has brought him into a tie for second place. Hopkinton 1-2 as Tyler Holbrow is going to hand it off to Alex Metsukas. Also just ran a 500 free. Going in the water up top is Ian Holmes, senior. And Connor Merch is going to be in lane one. Hopkinton right now, first place, battling. See if they can hold on and maybe take second. That is a battle for second by Ian Holmes in lane five. Alex Maxilkis is going to hang on. He's going to take first in lane three. Foxborough looks like they're going to come back. Pick up second, that's Ian Holmes coming in in third. In lane one, coming in in fourth. Finishing up, that is the Merch Man, Connor Merchy. Good swim by Alex Matsukis and Andrew Deleva, who just got out of the pool after five minutes of swimming for the 500. And turn it right around and go into a 53 <coughs> relay. Foxborough finishing up after Hopkinton goes one, three, four. Good swim by the men. And we're going to get ourselves ready for the 100 backstroke. It's a ladies lineup. A little back to back for Mary Lauren Burke. She just finished up anchoring the 200 relay. She's going to be in the center of the pool. Mallory Pyshoff, senior, closest to us in lane one. And up top, Julia Pinarello, also senior. I think they're all three seniors. Let's see. 
So, Mallory Paisoff, Mary Lauren Burke, and Julia Pilarella. This will be the 100 back. Four laps, backstroke. Swimmers will start in the water. A couple of minutes while the scores and judges get over to the scores table. And a backstroke for the ladies, Mallory Pysoff, Pishoff, Mary Lauren Burke, and Julia Parella. Ladies in the water. Another backstroke is off. Close it off. Mallory Pishoff, Mary Lauren Burke, and Julia Parella. Summer pool, that is Emma Burke. Followed close evening one by Mallory Kishoff. And not too far behind, that is Julia Pinarella. Well, at the end of the turn, Mary Lauren Burke, Emma Burke in the center of the pool. Fox Burke challenge into second, that is Mallory Kishoff in third. And a close race for fourth up there, Julia Pinarella and Fox Burke means five and six. Emma Burke takes the turn. So it is Hopkinton, center of the pool, and Alberk, Mary Pichoff, and third, Julie Pellarello. The last 25 will be exciting. Challenge up there in lanes five and six, Julie Pellarello, fouling for a fourth position. Hopkinton takes a turn, it's Emma Burke in the center of the pool. She is going to win it going away. In lane one, challenging for second, that is Mallory Pichoff. Challenging for second, probably going to take third. And then we have a battle for fourth place. That is Valley Pishoff takes second. That's Julia Pilarello taking fifth. Nice race. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. I, awesome. Ian Holmes, right? Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to meet you. We are joined in the booth here by senior Ian Holmes, captain. Hello. Talk to us about your swimming experience here at Hopkinton while we get ready for the next race. You know, it's uh, I've only been here for uh, three years. I actually didn't do it freshman year. So in the three years I've been on, it's probably been one of the best athletic experiences of my life. I mean, it's it's just a great team. Um, and great competition, and honestly, it's uh, everyone on the team cheers for each other, no matter if they know each other well or you know what grade they're in. It's just you know everybody. It's it's a, it's just a wonderful team, and it's a wonderful experience to be part of it too. And um, I'm so happy to be here for senior night and be supported by the friends around me. Now, where are you off to next year? Have you made a decision yet on college? Uh, I have not, but uh, it's likely uh, University of Maryland is where I'm going to end up. So oh, good turp, huh? Good, go Terps, Terps up. <laughs> Let yeah. me just get the race lined up here. We get unofficially in lane one, Kate Legassi, Sam Richardson in the center of the pool, and Cole Salyard. So with coaching change in, from last year to this year, you had Coach King for two years. Mm -hmm. You got Coach Libby. Yep. Jeff Libby seems like he's done a really nice job with everybody. What do you think? How'd you like it this year? What are your thoughts? You know, it's it's been great. I think Coach Jeff is just a natural leader. Um, and he's just been he's been great to all the kids and all the incoming freshmen and really just giving an attitude of trust the process and really trusting yourself that you're going to have the best race. And I think it paid off. I mean, we just came up short in TVLs, but overall the whole season has been a success for all of us. And I, it's been a really great experience and one, probably the best season I've had on HHS VSD. Well, I would agree with that as well as we were talking to Maddie Stiles. I'm just going to get to the race for a moment. Caitlin Gassi in lane one, Sam Richardson center of the pool, opening up a lead. That's Cole Salyards up top in lane five. The more times we can say your guys' names while we're up here, that's <laughs> what you want to hear. You don't want to hear anything else. So Cole Salyards in center of the pool. As we say so long to that senior as well, Cole Salyards up there in lane five. It's Kate Legassi swimming unofficially in lane one. 
you know, Maddie Stiles said the same thing. She said, you know, Jeff isn't so much results driven, but you got to look at what he did and you got results. So certainly the process seems mm. to work this year. Coming up a little bit short against Ashland, but a stacked team. You guys had a, a phenomenal meet. Nothing to be ashamed of this season. Phenomenal showing for you guys. Mm. Um, and really, a, uh, you know, as we talked a little bit about it with Maddie, kind of a, um, a, 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 a as I've watched these teams before, this is now the sixth, I think, season that I've seen of Hopkinson swimming. I don't think I've seen a team that's closer, that bonds better. Mm. Your thoughts on that? You think the same? I completely agree. I mean, I, I've been coming really good friends with freshmen. And, I mean, in teams that I've been on, you know, in cross country or football, you just don't have that, you know. It's, it's almost, you know, it's segregated in a way. But for swimming, I mean, everyone's in the same pool. Everyone's practicing the same lanes. Everyone's going through the same tough work ethic together and really pushing each other. And it really brings us together, even though we may not be friends, you know, in the school or in the same groups. It's just in the pool we bond so well together that it just, you see the results. And it's not even that we're so result driven. It's just everyone's having a good time. And you see that it's reflected in the pool. It's just everyone wants to do best and not just doing it for an external cause. They want, they see seen each other push each other and they want to you know they want to reflect that in their swims and I that's what coach Libby has installed in us and it's it's been a great thing it's been a really uh, rewarding experience so far as long as these seasons uh, seem you look back over the last three years it goes kind of quickly doesn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> very quickly yeah I mean it's it just felt like yesterday we just started the swim season I mean especially this year it just went by so fast I can't believe it's senior night already I mean just picturing this day you know since I was a sophomore it's uh it's come fast, so you know. While you know, while I enjoyed it all, I wish it went a little slower so I could you know savor it more. So I'm definitely taking it all in tonight. Well, you got a, a, a couple more opportunities to get the TVLs coming up. Mm -hmm. Certainly, Hopkinton's depth plays to it. That's one of the things that's always been great at the TVL meet. Yep. You've got a big squad, 45 <laughs> swimmers. Yeah. Um, Ashland looks good, but there's an opportunity for a little bit of revenge. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, certainly, you guys have a good opportunity to to do well in that meet as well. Looking for a, uh, a Hillers win and a Patriots win this, co this coming Sunday. It's going to be good. Yeah, we got to do something about the TVL meet <laughs> on, the, on Super Bowl Sunday. Definitely. So, um, all right, let's see what we've got coming up here. I think we get the 100 breaststroke. Give me one minute. We're just going to do some announcements here. Closest to us in the pool, we got Brooke Reiner. we got Andrew Wayne in the center, and we got the Foo Fighter, Allison Foo, up there in lane five. So you are predominantly a freestyle swimmer? Exclusively, yeah. Exclusively. <laughs> now, also a senior, you want to jump in as well? Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate and it. It's been a pleasure. Best of luck to you. Thanks for coming thank up you. to the booth. Enjoyed having you. Caitlin. <laughs> Good luck. And we're joined by? Caitlin O'Connor. Caitlin O'Connor. We talked a little bit about Bruce Springsteen. We worked him in when you were doing senior night. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Mom and dad, big Springsteen fans. Always. So what do you take away from your season and your career here at Hopkinton Swimming as we sit here and watch the 100 breaststroke with Brooke Reiner, Andrew Way, and Allison Foo? What do you take away from your four years? Wow, I mean, I take away a lot of some of my best friends, my best memories in high school from the four years I've been on this team. but. I've learned how to become a better leader, how to instill like a sense of confidence in the younger swimmers, which I think is really important. And I just learned how to have fun as a sport and with a bunch of other people. And I think that's just what the most important thing I've learned from swimming. I think it's been a common theme tonight. We've had Maddie up here, we just let Ian go. I think a lot of, we've seen that tonight, there's been a lot of that theme of a lot of enjoyment, a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of good memories. And it seems like that's paying off in the pool as well you guys definitely had a good season. definitely one of the best so who do you look to fill you've got 11 women graduating you have three men graduating who yeah do you look for next season well definitely sam cody he's going to be a brush stroker to beat next season well, plus he's got great hair too i love the kids yeah, hair got it can't, can't beat the man bun can't beat the flow huh <laughs> no speaking of sam cody he's going to be in the center of the pool we got unofficially we got mia carboni and we got blake Briner. As we just finished up the girl, the women's 100 with uh, Andrew Way coming in. Allison flew in second. Reiner taking third. It's been a good meet tonight. A lot of fun tonight. A lot of a emotion lot of as well. Definitely. Um, it's been that kind of a season for everybody. You guys have balanced that really well. And it's probably been a really tough season. But there's been yeah. an awful lot of, of, I think, bonding from that, at least from what we can see in the stands. 
you feel the same way? Yeah, we've definitely become closer, especially the seniors. There's just this sense of family. We just want to take care of each other. I think the other thing, uh, we'll wait for the start here for a sec. So Sam Cody in the center of the pool, break Reiner up top and swimming unofficially closest off is Mia Carboni. I think the other thing that we, uh, I'm going to see if I can remember my train of thought. I was going to say something. <laughs> um, it's what happens when you get old, you know. Um, I don't know. I was going to say something. I forget <laughs> what it is. All uh, been there. So where are you off to next year? Not sure yet. Between University of Georgia and University of South Carolina, I think. So you're going somewhere warm, Definitely. Huh? Excellent. A couple of good football programs. Oh, yeah. There. Definitely one of the factors in my decision. <laughs> what do you want to study when you get there? Psychology. Fantastic. Fantastic. I will remember what I was going to think about. Sam Cody opening up a lead there. Blake Briner, Mia Carboni. The other thing I can't get in out of anybody is I don't need any nickname for the seniors because you guys are all going to be gone. But you know, I got a list of people here. I got to be. I got to need nicknames. I need some dirt, some stuff. For all next right. Year. What do you got for me? You know. Colin Thine is called El Dolfino. El El what? Dolfino. Dolfino. I've heard that. Yes. And Kappa. He has two nicknames. Very What's diverse. Up with the cape? Have we figured out the cape, the sunglasses? No. What's the boy's superpower? I don't know. You know, what his I'm not sure is. yet. I've spent an evening at a concert with with Kate and Sam and Colin, and that was an interesting evening. I'm sure it was. It was actually what it was was it was wombastic because we went with the wombat. <laughs> yes, I do remember so, that. And that Sam Cody swim right there, I would call that wombastic. I told Kate I would work a wombastic in tonight. So Wonderful. There it is. We get wombastic. So are you going to be at the TVLs? Yes. Uh, sectionals or states for you this year? I made states, yeah, so I'll be Fantastic. going to both. Congratulations. What Thank are you. Gonna, swimming in states? Butterfly. Excellent. Excellent. You and Andrea, I assume? Oh, yeah, 100%. Fantastic. Andrea's a beast in the pool. <laughs> She's had a good season. You guys all have. It's been, all, I tell you, from a, from a parent's viewpoint, this has been a fun season to watch. You guys have really shouldered a, a lot this year, dedicating your season to Brad Canty. It means a lot. Yeah. There have been times up here where we've been announcing it gets a little um, difficult to sort of walk through everything. I can't imagine what you guys have been going through, but really phenomenal to see as far as the parents are concerned, as far as I'm concerned. It's really been impressive. Um, a really strong group of people. You guys are a great group of seniors. Yeah. Um, and uh, emotional, but you guys have really battled through. It's been It's been okay. fun to watch. It's been a Pretty good season. Impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Oh, what I was going to say was what's been interesting, too, is a lot of um, a lot of sportsmanship from other teams recognizing, yes. um, you know, what everybody's been going through this year, the dedication of the season to Brad. Yeah. Um, a lot of moving moments from some other teams, Ashland, Norwood, a few others here. Yeah. Um, really impressive to see. Uh, again, it's hard to see a lot of that, and then you guys got to get in the pool and try to compete, but it's really been impressive. You guys have been able to do both. Yeah. So. Lot it's of been good. A lot yeah. of reminds us how good of a league we're in. So, look, I'm going to let you help announce. We're, we're here at the end, okay? So you've had like five minutes to sit here and figure it out. All right. You get the four free relay, and you're going to do this. All right. <laughs> it's, it's like calling a race. It's like calling a horse race, except these are people you know. So. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right. Well, in lane one, we've got Harley, Elizabeth, Connor, and Aditya. Lane three, we have... Alex, Ritesh, Zach, and Sam, and in lane six, no, lane five today, Colin, Tyler, Ray, and Cole. It looks like it's going to be a good 400. Yeah, except I gave you. Oh, no, you get, did you give me the wrong? No, oh, there you go. Oh, no. Is yeah, it the boys? Does. It looks like he's got it mixed up a little bit. Already. Yeah. Got girls out there. So what did he do to us tonight? He gave us, like. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, got, so just go. kidding. <laughs> in lane one, we have Kelly, yeah, Kayla, Kaylee, and Sierra. Lane three, we have Bridget, Abby, Andrea, and Grace. And in lane five, we have Ansley, Alyssa, Peyton, and Cassie. Some stacked relays. So the other thing, too, it's nice having to be able to see um, a men and a women's swim tonight because Coach can line it up tonight as you guys are shooting for times from those states and sectionals. Yeah. And in the co-ed, you guys don't get a lot of time. That's true. It's been weird this season. Some people have been missing out on some swims just because of how it worked out, you know? Yep. All right. We just handed it off. Who we got in the water now? In the it looks the like we have Abby Fisher coming in the lead in lane three with Alyssa not too far behind in lane five. 
The Fishers, no relation to one another, right? No. Two different families? Two different families. Hopkinton holding the one, two. Who's challenging here in lane one for third? Looks like Kayla McCann's fighting her way through her second 50. Andrea Way stepping up on the block in lane three. There you go. And Peyton diving in in lane five. So during practice, who, who tends to push each other? Oh, <laughs> well, I will definitely say that for Andrea, who's swimming right now, her talent in practice is she swims underwater and she blows bubbles with her nose in the shape of O's. That's her talent. <laughs> Pushing each other, I would definitely say, and this is not because you're announcing, but I would definitely say Kate and Colin have some of the hardest work, that work ethics I've ever seen in the pool during practice. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, definitely impressive. Good, we like to hear that. <laughs> I hear a lot about that lane, and I'm not sure that they really get a lot done during practice. It sounds like it a lot seems of like they do. It seems like they do. That's all about having fun, as Andrea. Exactly. Is in. And Andrea's turning it over to who for the anchor leg? Grace Cavanaugh is anchoring us off. Fantastic. Andrea is swimming off to Brown next year. Yep. She'll be swimming for them. And An up top, who's going in the water up top? Up top. Lane in five. lane five, we have Cassie finishing us off, a freshman with a lot of potential. She had a nice swim tonight. She's uh, going to have 53. a lot of potential, yeah, she definitely. Really She'll be one to watch. Yep. Very exciting to watch. In lane one, who do we got going into the water? Sierra is going to be anchoring us off in lane one. Yeah, I had my eye. Cassie White looked good tonight. She had a good couple of good swims. Yeah, she's a very good swimmer. Again, it's also nice with a meet like this where this is a non-league meet. This is all about fun where exactly. coach starts to mix it up a little bit. See a couple of different people in a couple of different races, get some time, see what people start to see what next year is going to start to look like. So the four years go pretty quickly for you? Very quickly. <laughs> it's insane. Feels like three weeks ago we were getting ready to start the season, and yeah. now it's all coming to an end. It does move fast. Hopkinton takes one. And finish it up in lane two. five, one and two. Grace and Cassie with some strong swims. Yeah, Cassie closed the gap a little bit. She yeah. Good. A couple of records fell again on the on the women's side this year. Uh, yeah. What did we see? We saw Andrea Way take and reset the 100 butterfly. That yeah. mark had been there from Megan Farrell since 2003, I believe. Also the 100 freestyle, Andrew Wade broke that record. So a couple of 2018 records reset by Andrea Way. Looks like Hopkinton takes one, two, three in that relay. A lot of depth by the girls tonight. Two Always swims. got the depth. So this is what we're gonna have for the next. You've got, I'm gonna give you your sheet here. Mm -hmm. So we've got an unofficial relay swimming in lane one, and then the gentlemen are in lanes three and five. All right. Looks like finishes off in the next heat of the 400 is in lane one, Harley, Elizabeth, Connor, and Aditya. Lanes three is Alex, Ritesh, Zach, and Sam Richardson. And then in lane five, we have Colin, Tyler, Ray, and Cole. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if you don't quite cut it in psychology, you get a great announcing voice, so. Well, I'll be sure to consider that. We've got some good sports journalism schools that I'm going to, so it'll be easy go. to make the switch. There you go. Very easy to, uh, very easy to just change halfway through, you know? <laughs> Foxborough finishes up. There's their last relay. The girls are gonna exit. For a lot of swimmers, regular meet, and then TVLs are coming up. Those will be the last yeah. swims. What's your fondest memory of swimming in Hopkinton? There are a lot from this year. I would say a lot of the dedications to Brad this year have been some really good moments for me. Um, last year was my first year going to postseason. There's some good memories there. 
Those meets are a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. All right, give us a lineup who's going in the pool right away as we go into the last uh, event of the evening. Harley, Alex, and Colin will be diving in first. Is that Alex Matsukas? Yep, he had a very strong swim the other yeah. night against Ashlyn in his 400. Yep. Another young man that's got a bright career in front of him swimming. He looks good in the water. He does. Lane five, we have who? Lane five is Colin Thine, El is. Dolfino. El Dolfino. I keep calling him Captain Colin, you know? <laughs> I think maybe that's where the Kappa comes from. He's, he's an entertaining young man. Very, very fun guy. There it is. Yep. Only a matter of time. <laughs> As you can hear in the sidelines, the El Dolfino chant led by senior captain Ian Holmes. He looks like he's an instigator, Ian. He's definitely the rally man on the sidelines, that's for sure. Everybody needs one. <laughs> Finishing up in the center of the pool. Alex is handing it off to. Alex is handing off to Ritesh. Ritesh's father back there on the camera tonight. Should be proud. That young man's had a bunch of nice, uh, nice swims tonight. Strong young swimmer. He looks Strong a Strong butterflyer. Yeah, had my eye on him last year. Looks very good. Of course, Kate, of course, our daughter Kate follows a long line of swimmers, so I, I love watching it. You love yeah. watching who's got the talent. And in the water up in lane five, who do we have? In lane five, we have Tyler Hobrow. He Another had a very young freshman, yep. Beat his brother today in the 2IM, which was monumental. That was, yeah, <laughs> I, I was telling everybody, I said, that's going to be an interesting car ride home tonight. That's huh? going to be fun. Zach was pretty, <laughs> Zach seemed a little bitter about it. Might have to get some revenge later tonight. Yeah, Zach's a grinder, too. I love watching him swim. So that's uh, Ritesh coming in the center of the pool, and who we got to hand it off to? He's handing off to Zach, actually. There you go. So at least they're not competing against each other this time. Go. Tyler's handing off to who? Tyler's handing five? off to Ray Lucas. Coming off a tendon injury this season. And in lane one, it looks like it's about to be handed off to Connor Murchie. The Merch man. Merch. Another, another young man with big personality. <laughs> oh, very big. He's in my carpool. He's got quite a singing voice, that man. What are, what are the favorite tunes these days? What does Merch belt out the best? Country Road, Take Me Home, that song, West Ooh. Virginia. I don't know what the actual name I think it's Country that's Road. Country Road by yeah. Bob Denver. Yep, that's wow. a fan favorite. Still popular, huh? <laughs> yeah. Center of pool, that is Zach Hol uh, Holbrow coming mm -hmm. in. He's going to turn it over to who? Sam Richardson. Sam Richardson. Sam's got a nice stroke, good finishing. He does. And up top. In lane two. five, Cole Salyards. Another good freestyler. Yes. Strong freshman. Yep. And in lane one. They'll be handing it off to Aditya. Another strong freshman coming in. So we graduated a lot of folks this year. We've got we a lot of strong younger people coming up. What do you think about the prospects for Hopkinton Swim I think it's dive? looking good. I think the girls are definitely going to have good swimmers on their side. The boys might have to grind a little bit next year. Not going to lie. The boys might have to fight for it, but I think they're going to be in good shape. Well, fortunately, like I said, we only graduate three seniors, but three talented seniors in Sam, Ian, and Ben. Yeah. And uh, some shoes to fill as Hopkinton comes in in the lead. Strong finish for Sam Richardson. Yep. So can you let us in on what the cheer is going to be tonight? Have you made the decision yet on what the final cheer is going to be? Usually it's spur of the moment. We did bees. My guess, I'm going to bet on toothpaste. toothpaste? I won't suggest it because that will swing the bets, but okay. I'm going to bet on toothpaste. We always look for that at the end of the meet, you know. We always look <laughs> to see what the final cheer is going to be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let you run and join your team. Perfect. We wish you the best. Thanks for coming Thank up. Thank you very much. All right. That is Caitlin O'Connor, senior captain. Graduating here, she's going to go down and join the team. We've had the fortune of having Maddie Staus, Ian Holmes, and Caitlin O'Connor join us tonight. Three seniors, very poised young men and women looking forward to college careers.
Still some swimming left as they have the TVL meet. They also have the uh, states and sectionals. Caitlin mentioned she will be swimming in states, qualifying in the fly. We'll have some relays, a lot of fun. Those meets will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. For some of the kids, after TVLs, this will be the end of their season. So they prepare for next year, some graduate. And then others will continue. There will be a smaller squad that is going to continue to train for uh, sectionals and states. Foxborough, two relays coming in. They've got one more swimmer still in the water. Hopkinton showing a lot of sportsmanship, a lot of team spirit. Cheering for Foxborough, swimmer still in the water as she wraps up her final 25. A lot of cheers for the Foxborough swimmer coming in as we wrap up the final event for the night. A lot of cheers for Fox Quarrel as they finish up. It should be probably two Hopkinton wins tonight. A lot of depth, a lot of manpower. Women power, a lot of good swims tonight. We'll wait for the final scores. Hopkinton lines up for the final cheer. We'll get the final cheers, final scores. And then we'll wrap it up for tonight. Caitlin predicted we could be going two pace, two pace, but let's figure out what their cheer is going to be tonight as we listen. Very successful senior night tonight. 14 seniors graduating. 11 on the women's side, three on the men's. down the pool, no cheap pace tonight. Foxborough getting ready for their cheer, gathering the team. It's a long meet tonight, we we'll swim both men and women. About 10 o'clock, couple hours. Potato chip, potato chip from Foxborough. As both teams line up, do that sweaty hands, sloppy things, a lot of high fives, a lot of germs exchanged. And I think what we're going to do is probably wrap it up. Well, we'll wait for the scores. Final senior night. A lot of smiles on the sidelines. They've had a phenomenal season this year. First year head coach, Jeff Libby. A lot of praise from his young swimmers and senior swimmers graduating. A lot of fun, a lot of teamwork, a lot of heart. This team a couple of records broken by Andrea Way. Some great swims, personal best by about a lot of other swimmers. I look forward to the TVL meet. I believe we are going to announce and broadcast the TVL meet as well. That'll be the final league meet. All the TVL teams will be present. That will be Sunday morning from uh, up here at Keith Tech as well. You think Raj, you're going to be with me for that one as well? Sure. Awesome. Roger Johnigan on the camera, Kevin Legassi. Again, joined tonight by three seniors, Ian Holmes, Maddie Staus, Caitlin O'Connor. 
three graduating seniors, three captains. Good to get them up here, get a couple of the young voices talking a little bit about their experiences in the program. I don't know that we're going to get an announcement, so what we're going to do is we're going to call it a night. I'm going to predict we get two wins for both the men and the women. Coach guys up the teams. Congratulations to Hopkinton on some great swims on a great season. We will see you at the TBLs in a couple of days. Thank you very much, Coach. We'll sign it off. Good job tonight, Raj. Thank you. Thank you.